Please, this is Sheree from Divine Visions. I'm bringing you a special reading today, Healing with the Angels. So many of us are undergoing a lot of challenges of late. Um, and just in general, you know, it could be our twin flame soulmate connection, could be um, issues with our family, it could be all the stress with this virus thing going on. A lot of us need healing right now and just to get some messages today to uplift our spirits would be really lovely. So I have three readings in front of you. We've got one, two and three. I'll give you a moment to focus on the cards. I just want to say this beautiful candle that was given to me. It says, Guardian Angel, when your world is filled with happiness and love, remember to say thank you to your angels up above. So nice, that one. Um, so I'm going to light the match. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm going to light the match, light the candle. And uh, we'll get started. I just want you to focus on, there's three little um, cards here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name, <laughs> but uh, this one talks of acceptance. So that's the word for this one is acceptance, number one. Number two is Isis discovery. And number three, I'm pretty sure you pronounce it as Maeve, is action. So you can take a moment to focus on those as to which one you feel drawn to for your message today. So if you chose number one, and I just wanted to say, did you see that candle just light up brighter? That was freaking amazing. If you haven't seen it, go back. It was really cool. So let's have a look. This is acceptance. Okay, what does it say on the back here? So this is the moon goddess, Columbia. So know, know yourself physically. Embrace your body. Enjoy all the pleasures that it can give you. When you love your body, you are most able to share its pleasures with those who light your heart. So wait for the full moon and venture to a safe, natural place. Spread a soft blanket out under the light of the moon. Lie down and consider all that the goddess has given you. So this could be very much, um, you know, it may resonate with you who is really into the moon, has a connection with the moon. You might have a, um, you know, you might be ruled by Cancer or Pisces. Um, and so it's just a really beautiful receptive kind of energy coming in. It is called acceptance, being able to accept who you are. Um, so that's a nice message right there. Let's have a look at the other ones coming through. So healing with your angels. You've got two come out with this one. So this one's about embracing your inner authority, standing in your own power. You might feel that you're, you don't have much power at this time, like things are out of your control. But there are things you can do in your space and in your time of darkness. There is things that you can tap into. There is an inner power within you that you can tap into um, and use it for the good. You can channel it into something really creative. It could be music. It might be that music gives you your power. Um, sorry about that light. Um, so it could be that you might be a musician. You might love music. It might be very soothing for you right now. Um, it may be something that you help um that helps you to sleep at night especially if you have insomnia um you know so it's also about being able to create something that's in harmony with you know life within yourself your soul something that um gives you a feeling of um like that you're achieving something seeing what else it says Don't give your power away to others as well and, and try not to misuse your power. But I feel like uh, music is coming in really strong for you guys um, at this time. So it is. it could be that you play an instrument. It could be that you're songwriting or writing poetry. Um, it may be that, as I said before, that you're listening to music that is uplifting to the soul. It's finding your power through this means. Um, and I think that's really cool because music is a healer. 
um, and it's the language of the world. Now, let's have a look at your angel therapy card. So, ear chakras. So, notice messages that appear as sounds and uh, words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So, so funny how it says music again. So, it's, it's almost like this is a very strong connection for you guys right now is to embrace what you hear and what are you putting into your mind? What are you listening to? Is it uplifting? And it's funny how she's kind of like, oh, I can't do that. She's sleeping. She's uh, got her eyes closed. She's relaxed. So it might be a meditation. It could be listening to relaxation music of a night time. It, it could be something very relaxing right now because some of you might be feeling that your power has been taken from you uh, regarding certain circumstances that are arising right now. And so may feel um, that the only way you can really soothe your mind and soothe your soul is through the power of music um, so we've also got if you get nervous focus on service so put your entire intention on answering the question how can I make the world a better place and the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs so it may be that you do feel that you're nervous um, about what's going on right now there's a lot to be nervous about there's a lot of anxiety and in times of being nervous, just realize what you can give to yourself, to others around you. How can you make the world a better place at this time? Um, it may not have to be that you have to get out there physically and do anything. It may be that you just be in your own harmonious um, existence, you know, and are able to calm someone else's soul. Um, it may be that, you know... You might even share a song, <laughs> something simple like that, you know, with somebody online or on Messenger or wherever. It might be something so simple that you send a message to someone and it's upli uplift what am I saying? uplifting their day. Um, and also I feel like, um, what does it say here? Yeah, you're bringing in what you put out there as well. And so I feel like a lot of you here, it's, it's basically saying that you don't have to put too much effort and, and energy into something right now to, to uh, achieve peace and calm into your life and into others' lives. So Archangel Michael says, a favorable outcome. So thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So this is a really positive outcome. You know, this is a positive card saying that everything's going to be okay. Um, everything will be fine and, and in its own divine timing. Um, so you're being asked to have trust and to have faith that everything will turn out okay. <laughs> Look at this meditation. We said this before. So dear Archangel Raphael, please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace, peace, uh, breath and oh, sorry health and wellness i've got to turn this light off hang on guys okay that's better guys sorry about that so it says dear archangel raphael please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace health and wellness so this is beautiful because we're talking about meditating before going into that calm space listening to some relaxation music allowing it to infuse into your mind into your soul um, allowing yourself to just receive that divine, beautiful energy. So open your heart to love. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creation, the greater their life force energy. Um, so if you're able to, we saw this before, um, get creative and pour this beautiful energy into that. Um, it's coming from a place of passion. It's coming from a place of authenticity. Um, and the more you open your heart and pour your love into this, the greater the life force energy. Because some of you, once again, are feeling zapped of energy, uh, might be zapped of your own inner power or feeling that you don't have much to give to yourself or feel helpless that you can't help others. But it's saying open your heart to love. Um, you don't have to be afraid to do this. Because at the moment you might just want to close off to everything and all the world, etc. And that's okay for a while. Um, but you don't want to get stuck in that either. So some of you are seeking answers and this is the way to meditate, calm your mind, put some beautiful music on, 
um, and watch what you're putting into your mind. Try and turn the you know news off and not go on social media too much. So healer of emotion, this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others, we just said this, that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving and trustworthy friend. So once again, you want to heal others. You want to nurture others and feel powerless, feel helpless. Maybe you are somebody who does normally help others, whether it be in community service work or in the health field, medical field. Um, you know, it could be childcare, social work, anything like that. It doesn't have to be, um, but it might be a significant message for those of you who have a very natural healing side to you, where you just feel that you want to be of service to others in your community. Um, so at the moment, you might have to find ways to, um, you know, be of service online at this stage. And you need to give to yourself as well through the art of meditation. Maybe some of you are really burnt out at the moment too. And you need to just unwind, relax and gain your energy once again. So we've got the nine of thought, which shows anxieties. Could be insomnia like we saw before, staying up late at night, worrying. Uh, stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. So that's just once again, you know, having faith, having trust that this will be okay. You don't have to take the burden on of the whole world, you know, because a lot of you... Uh, want to help so much that you do absorb a lot of uh, of that inf uh, what I'm saying of that well yeah a lot of information but also a lot of energy in that as well uh, which can really affect you mentally as well as spiritually and emotionally and even physically so the whole system the layers of your auric system everything your whole energy field is really suffering and you need to be able to just take some time out and gain your energy again and clear your energy clear your mind um, the way you can clear your mind is as I said getting off social media not being on there so much um, stop watching the news stop buying into the fear of everything and, and even conversations you're having with people just being aware of how that might be affecting you um, you might have to put a bit of a bubble up around yourself um, and it's funny how we had um, the moon energy coming through here as well because it could talk about that um, the moon energy is really potent, especially around the full moon um, and new moons. Um, and so it could be around that time that you really need to, um, especially around the full moon, recharge your energy. Um, yeah, once again, the music side of things coming up here. So I feel like you really need to give that to yourself. Now let's have a look here. Yeah, this is what you want is peace. So Archangel Shamuel, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. We've got the peace dove here. We've got the innocence with this. The um, It's the messenger of hope, you know, and uh, it also speaks of spirituality. It's about getting in touch with your spirituality um, and being able to get in touch with yourself through that. Now, the Romance Angels, if you have been asking about love, is saying stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and you deserve love. You are lovable. So some of you might have been feeling quite um, empty in this area. Once again, feeling like you've been doing the giving. Um, and so it's just saying stay optimistic about your love life. You do deserve love. You might feel that you have put so much into something and haven't gotten anything back um, or much back from the realm of love, whether it be another person or just love in general, um, being able to receive this um, might be absent in your life. Um, and it's saying you do deserve love and stay optimistic because your faith and positive thinking will bring you the romance that you want in your life. So Ask an Angel says heaven and earth. It's about that uh, we're bridging the gap between heaven and earth 
and being able to balance yourself, being able to ground your energy, but also being able to receive the higher guidance as well. So being in touch with your higher self, but being grounded on earth here as well. So you might definitely want to do a grounding meditation. Um, that is something that's coming through quite strongly with this, is to do a grounding guided meditation. You can find them on YouTube if you're feeling a little bit out of sorts, um, feeling lightheaded or just like everything is surreal. Um, and sometimes when that happens, because a lot of us are in shock as to what's going on around us, um, and it's happening so fast that some of you might feel, okay, everything's out of my hands, you know, I can't do anything. And it's, it's quite scary and you're anxious about this. So it's about grounding yourself, grounding your energy as well, not just clearing it, but grounding it um, and being able to be balanced so that you can have that practical side of you coming through, but also receiving that higher wisdom that's coming through from the angels, from your higher self, uh, through the crown chakra. And your last card here says hope. And we're talking about these words, love, hope is coming through a lot, peace, and, and faith has come up a lot as well. Um, I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me. After this has been over, this challenge or whatever it is that you're thinking of right now or going through, it shows that there is something beautiful coming out from this for you. Um, you've just got to keep yourself uh, in line with what your values are and never lose sight of who you are. Um, have faith and have hope that you know everything will be okay everything is you're being told that everything will be okay you just got to believe it you just got to put your energy into that right now um, you've just basically got to know that you know just know it within yourself that everything will be fine in its divine timing um, and you know take this time out take this time right now that you've been given um, see it as an opportunity to really look after yourself, look after your energy and get in tune with your own energy, like who you are, your soul, everything, um, how you can tap into that. And it's kind of like rebooting your system, you know, um, having time to just maybe get out in the garden. That could be a way of grounding yourself, um, that kind of thing. Do some gardening, get your hands in the soil. Um, that could really be helpful to you guys as well and have that music playing because it's going to be really soothing for your soul as well guys so I hope that's helped you hi guys if you chose reading number two and I just wanted to say did you see the flame rise up in the very beginning when you were focusing on the cards because that was amazing in my opinion that was amazing <laughs> so anyway let's have a look at your first card here Isis discovery this is a beautiful energy in this I can just feel it gorgeous energy all right what does it say so it says blessed goddess of all Egypt Abundance is everywhere. All you need to do is look. If you cannot find what you need, close your eyes and see it in your thoughts. In due time, it will come to you. Its form may not be apparent at first, but it will become evident in time. So open your heart to all that surrounds you. Be observant of the people and places that encompass your world. Sometimes things you seek in life can be found in places you never would expect. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's have a look what's going on with your reading today. So your healing cards, you've got two of them. We have signs and romance. So if you're asking about love right now, it's about looking out for the signs. This could be heavenly signs. This could be physical, physical signs coming through. It could be signs in your dreams. could be that you actually have literal signs from your soulmate or twin flame coming through uh, in your physical realm. Um, but definitely getting dreams for some of you guys here are very vivid dreams um, of your twin flame or soulmate here. Some of you might be seeking out love. Um, so this could be a challenge for some of you. We're going to have a look at more cards in a moment if they can relate. Some of these messages are very separate to each other as well. Um, but it's about, I feel... Some of you have been really putting it out there to the universe that you want signs to let them to let you know that uh, your loved one is coming in or that your loved one is connecting with you on the physical um, what am I saying on the astral plane so that they can come in in the physical um, so some of you are wondering and questioning 
does your soulmate or twin flame love you um, or are they you know is it destined that you be together some of you are already in a partnership and want signs on whether you should stay or leave um, so that's something coming through for some of you as well and then we've got the angel therapy which is books your life purpose involves writing reading editing or selling spiritually based books now this could be very relevant for some of you who are writers people who like to journal people who like to write poetry um, it could be spiritual decks of cards that you're even looking at it could be a book that you're reading up on uh, it could be that you're reading up on love romance you know self-help books whatever it might be in this time it could be that you uh, are encouraged to do this as well um, so if it has been something that you've thought of that you want to write something, now is the good time to start sitting down and doing so. I also am getting that there could be affirmations that some of you are writing down as well that you're visualizing, maybe doing a vision board. I want to go further with this message here. So it could be that some of you are really putting it out there, your intentions, but you might be visualizing it um, and putting it onto something visually like a vision board. It uh, could be that you're affirming things and writing things down. It could be, it could be literally a, a letter that you're writing to your loved one as well. What have we got? Archangel Michael's, oh my God. Archangel Michael says, write about your thoughts and feelings. We're just saying that. So thank you for helping me to tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing and healing. So you are actually encouraged to journal your feelings right here. And I do kind of feel like it's a private thing going on behind the scenes. So it may not necessarily be something that you um, want to send out to a loved one right now. It might be just something that you want to keep to yourself. It could be your own um, thoughts and feelings about this person. It could be, as I said before, affirmations. Um, as I said also, there could be um, writing down thoughts and feelings and in um, wanting to send a message out to somebody but you might be going over it and over it and trying to edit it and some of you might write something and then delete it and you know really have to think about what you want to say um yeah so there's time to really just work out what you want to say um to somebody and also when i get with this as well as that some of you are writing down your dreams you're trying to interpret what they mean as well so inner authority, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires and feelings. So some of you have felt that you've been a little bit powerless in your current situation, which is understandable considering what we're undergoing in the world right now as well. But this could definitely be a personal issue for some of you where you do feel that things have just been right out of your hand. They've been taken out of your control um, and it could be around love, it could be connected to this, but it may be something different. It could be your health. Um, but there's something going on that you just feel like it's been taken out of your control and you're now trying to tap into your inner power um, to stand up and take action or stand up and put boundaries up um, or stand up and say no to this. Like you're not going to put up with that. You know, you're going to try and take back your own power um, so that, you know, Nobody else or no other situation can kind of like change what you want. And sometimes things do change what we want. Uh, some things are inevitable and, um, you know, like what's going on right now in the world. Sometimes in relationships, things are inevitable. Sometimes it's up to somebody else to kind of decide where we go. Um, but we do have choices. We do have free will as well. And we can work and adapt with what we've got at the time and but I feel like for a lot of you you're being advised if you haven't already got it in you but I feel like a lot of you do have it in you already is to um, use your God-given talents like give, use your um, your own inner power to bring about what you want it's the law of attraction it's that intention that powerful intention you do have the ability the strong ability to be able to bring in what it is that you want into your realm okay and then we've got share your art with the world it's time to allow others 
to enjoy your creative work. Now, so interesting because this book one here reminds me of creativity, writing, journaling, maybe you're drawing, you could be painting, um, she's painting in this picture. So you could be painting, you could be drawing, anything artistic, it could be um, writing music, it could be anything right here. Um, but it looks very creative and it's you could be getting some colours out. Some of you might even be doing those colouring books, you know, the, the colouring books for adults or something. Some of you might even be doing that in your spare time. All right, let's have a look. So seven of emotion. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So you might be putting off some of your dreams right now because there's other things or other people who need you to do something for them. You don't want to upset somebody. Um, so you're putting yourself kind of last. Um, yeah, with this I feel... What's this telling me? Because I feel like this might be a separate message to everything else that's come up here. Could be also that you do want to follow your dreams and your purpose in a creative way. Um, but it could be very difficult right now, especially with our current situation that, you know, you might want to go and do something in, in one part of the house. Someone might be demanding your attention um, or you just don't have that um, flow right now. So it just feels that there's definitely something you need to work on. Um, this is what this comes up with, like having boundaries up as well, being able to stand up and really... Um, give to yourself and respect your own wants and needs and desires. So leadership, take the lead. So Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Some of you need to take a stand in your current situation. Some of you have stood back and thought, this is the way it is. I can't change it how it is. Where in some cases you can. There is some ways you can change how you react to things. You can take the power and the lead when it comes to your own life, your own uh, destiny. You can change that. You can move towards that. Um, so it's not always up to the universe to bring things in. Like some of you are just looking out to the universe to bring this in. You have the power to bring this in. Um, and it could be through your own creative self as well, what you put out there to, to your, you know, to another person. Could be the intentions you are putting out to the universe, but it has to come from you. It can't just be just aimlessly looking out there and, and hoping. Sometimes you've got to really do some inner work, do some spiritual work to manifest what it is that we want. And some of you need to release an X. So the time has come to clear your energy. This is maybe, as I said before, some of you are asking whether you need to let go of somebody in your life, either physically or energetically. Sometimes we can't let go of them spiritually. Um, but you can clear your energy to release any toxic uh, energy that's coming in. Um, or any addictions that you might have towards this person, it's time to take the lead now and perhaps move on from this. So some of you have been asking for signs on whether you need to move on. Maybe this is a sign right now in this reading that, okay, yes, you do. Okay. Conflict resolution. This is beautiful. So this is just, as it says, conflict resolution is coming through. I want to see what this is. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. So you're being asked to be optimistic. I expect good things to happen, and they do. It could be a letter that you're writing to somebody to let them go. And sometimes we can write a letter and not actually send it. That's probably where I got that private feeling, like uh, you're doing something behind the scenes where you may be writing a letter to somebody just for your own um, benefit to be able to get it off your chest and release it somehow. You might do it under a full moon that you want to release your ex, you know, and you might write down affirmations or some kind of intention. Uh, and then you can burn the paper afterwards and really release it. Um, so there's conflict resolution too, which shows that if you're able to also stand in your power, as we saw this in authority right here, take the lead and stand in your own power, that you can bring in conflict resolution because you've done something, you've taken a step towards inner healing or healing in a situation. 
Remain optimistic, guys, because good things can happen if you expect them to. So expecting good things to happen will bring that in for you. It's that law of attraction once again. So at this time, it's all about discovery. It's about discovering who you are, discovering what your power is within you and being able to find out, you know, what you're made of through this situation. You might find something about yourself or discover some creative aspect of yourself that you never knew was possible or that was there. Um, it's just about channeling this energy into the right place, guys. So I hope that's helped you. Okay, if you chose reading number three, and I just want to say, did you see that candle light up in the very beginning? Because that was amazing. And if you haven't seen it, go back and look at it because I found that quite awesome. All right, so here we go. Maeve, action. What does this one say for you guys? Action. So it says... Fairy queen and heroic warrior Celtic people, look to the world around you and witness the power of feminine energy. Let these observations strengthen your heart to do good deeds and to speak up against injustice, corruption and cruelty. You can change the world, participate in local politics or join an organisation that interests you. Become an active participant in the fate of your community. Let your voice be heard. This is quite powerful, guys. This is somebody who's very much in uh, line with injustice, someone who wants to speak up and be uh, like an advocate for others in need. Um, it may be that some of you really um, barrack for the underdog, um, so to speak. And so some of you might really want to help those um, who are unfortunate. It could be homeless. It could be youth. Um, it could be the elderly anyone in the community that you might want to help here or help change something in the environment um, or some kind of policy let's have a look so study this might be a really really good time for some of you to get into some books and research and stuff like that some people hate the idea of study but you know researching online in something that you're interested in doesn't have to be seen as study you don't have to have hours and hours of something that you have to recite and learn. It can be something that you just absorb absorb uh, naturally into yourself because you're interested in it. So the angels are guiding you to look into something that you really do uh, have an interest in and a passion for because there might be something that you can do in this current situation right now. You're challenging situation to give you insight on how to deal with something or how to not so much fix it but uh, contribute to it to to the greater cause here indigo this is very interesting so the person you're inquiring about is an indigo meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader now this makes so much sense with this energy right here Indigos don't back down. They are truth seekers. They know exactly who's lying to them. They can see right through the BS, right? This person, if this is you, it's possibly talking about you, um, is somebody who wants to make a change and a difference to the um, the order that we're already in in this world. You know, the structure that's been put in, the rules and everything that's in now in place. They want to shake up this world and bring in healing and allow the veil to be dissolved and what so many of us are um you know wearing right now and it could be media based it could be our governments um anything like that where there's rules um and in place and that's kind of like controlling or lies that are being spread it doesn't have to be just global guys this could be in your local community it could be in your smaller community which is family or your relationships you know there's something that you really want to cut through to and take action with and get to the truth and really call it out for what it is so guarded and protected you are a natural protector like you are seriously protective of your tribe but also of the world. If there's something like an injustice being done you get angry and passionate about it so it says here Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. So yes, you're the protector, but also you're being guarded and protected. So the angels are letting you know 
that you play a big role in this, but they're also guarding and protecting you and the situation as well. So whatever you do, as long as it's in good intention, you're going to be guarded and protected as well because you stand so strong in your truth. You're like a spiritual warrior. Um, and also, it's not just about jumping in blindly with just faith behind you. You're, you are, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? You're equipped you're equipped with uh, knowledge as well. And that's what you're about. You like to get to the facts about things. So, yeah, but it says, have faith as well. So, dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so that I may trust in miracles. Some of you might be very um, in this mode where you are, you know, um, very strong in what you see and want to get through to the truth. Some of you are very tunnel vision, like it's that one thing you're after. And it's just about having faith in the bigger picture as well, being able to tune into that and tap into that, not just being practical and grounded so much, but also being able to see the bigger picture here of um, really embracing that within you as well, of having faith and hope, bringing in that um, more gentle kind of energy here as well. Um, knowing that there is, like, you don't have to save the world. This is the kind of energy you're coming in with, and that's fine. But you've got to realize, too, what your limits are. And um, knowing that, you know, everything will turn out okay in the end. Because sometimes you're, like, you know, you're so guarded and protected that you might have your armor on, ready to take down things that are in your way or preventing this healing from occurring and um, it's just about being able to also have faith in the process. So nurture yourself in this process as well. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Now this kind of makes, this makes a lot of sense because when you're able to conserve or, you know, uh, yeah, conserve your energy, um, you are able to do more things. So it's, as I said, it's not about jumping in blindly and just taking action. You're, you're, you've got a process and it's a slow process at that. Um, so you're progressing along and uh, studying and, and see how she's got books there. That's so cool because uh, she's taking in this um, knowledge, but it's also nurturing her to have this knowledge um, because what can you do with knowledge? You know, there's so much you can do. So it's about being able to look after yourself, not just everybody else, but also yourself. Um, you know, some of these things that you don't necessarily need for everyone else, it's going to really um, be healing for your soul. It's going to be like food for your soul as well. So then we've got open your heart. Allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So you're being guided to obviously open your heart, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. Um, so it's almost like you want to sit back and see the good deeds of what you've put in as well. Um, but it's part of this nurturing yourself as well, allowing things to grow within yourself. Um, it's this abundance, it's this knowledge coming through. Um, it's about having this thirst for knowledge. It's about opening your heart to um, being close because you might be too guarded. You might have too much armor right now. Um, wanting to kind of come in and, and protect those and also very protective of yourself as well in the, in the, in the same time you know, in the same thing here, but it's saying open your heart and try and trust others as well, you know, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it's about being able to um, give someone the benefit of the doubt as well and allow yourself to enjoy a relationship as well, you don't have to have your guard up about everything, um, you have a very, very, um, well, what I get is that when, when you give your heart to someone, you really give your heart to someone, you really commit. Once you do that, you're really committed for like long term. Um, so it's about being able to enjoy what you have right now. Um, don't lose sight of what you have. Could be someone literally in your life right now. Um, it could be that you're on your path to finding love. It could be self-love. Um, but it could be love with someone else as well. And being able to be open to that opportunity or experience. Um, 
yeah so then we've got compassion so opening your heart to compassion as well Archangel Zadkiel soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved including yourself so being able to see past an illusion perhaps seeing that not everything is as bad as it seems someone might be really pissing you off right now and you might have a very defensive stance right now and it's it's probably just uh, explaining try and come through with a compassionate view here not everyone's out to get you or um, bring you down okay so <laughs> this is a cool light energy flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so you are uh, advised or encouraged to bring down that strong energy and and kind of like soften your heart and bring in this light-hearted energy to others it could be that you're flirting with somebody right now um, somebody who you are partnered with it could be someone online uh, in messages you know but you are being advised to just take things lightly right now have a bit of a have a bit of fun guys have a bit of fun Try and find something to get your mind off all the serious stuff right now. Prosperity. This is awesome. So abundance is coming into your life. Um, you are prosperous. You've got a lot behind you already. Um, a lot of skills, a lot of um, knowledge already within yourself and wisdom as well. Um, but it's showing that prosperity is a big thing you carry. I don't just see this as a financial thing. This is something that... Um, this is something that you carry within your soul. You have a lot. See the third eye here as well. Like this represents the third eye. Um, and the stars for hope and, and good luck. Things like that are coming into your life. You're having that intuition. You're able to see through things. We did see the indigo energy coming through before. By being able to have that awareness and intuition, you are prosperous. You are able to bring in good things into your life because you're able to discern. Now, giving and receiving is beautiful. So I balance being generous and receptive because both are equally important. So it might be hard for you guys to receive. I think um, you're so used to being out there and helping others and getting to the nitty gritty of things like taking action, making things are right and making sure things are right. Um, and it's hard for you to be balanced and um, be able to receive because some of you might see that others need more than you do, which can be true. Um, but there's nothing wrong with you receiving as well. Even if it's a compliment, guys, learn to accept the compliment as well. So I really hope that's helped you today. And as usual, I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings.